April, uh, July 20th, 2013, Twigget Swags, you see that? I am going to show you how to make a pizza quesadilla. There's different ways you can make it, there's different things you can add on it, but I'm going to make a bacon pizza quesadilla, and I'm going to show you today, in my lunch, how to make one. So let's get started. So what you need is a plate, and... I'm going to set you right there. You're going to need two of your shells, and you're going to need two of them. And by the way, this is cooking hour with me. You're going to take the first one, you're going to fold it in half like this. You put it on your plate and open it up. See, you have the crease, so you know where to put all the ingredients. Oh, I forgot one more ingredient. <laughs> the taco sauce ingredient. Uh, so you sprinkle just a little bit on there. You don't want too much. To the point where it looks like this. And then you take your finger and you just spread it on that crease all around. Or you can use a spoon, whichever you like. Make sure your hands are clean. And then you fold it back. Now, it doesn't have to be on the other side. You get just a little bit on the other side, so when you close it to cook it, it will stay shut. And you can open it, and voila, it looks like that. And you take cheese, and put it on one side, and you cover the whole side up. Just know that when it melts, cheese will be everywhere. Okay, and it looks like this, and then you take bacon, this is the big thing of bacon that we get, it's turkey bacon that we get from Sam's, but there's all kinds you can get, you can get already cooked ones, you can get cooked ones, you can get ones you have to cook, cook them, and if you have leftovers you can make something like this. And you just break off a little bit at a time and just sprinkle it all over one side, the side with the cheese. It basically looks like this. And then that's when you either put your lettuce, your tomatoes, your seasonings, whatever other sauces you want on top, pepperoni, whatever you want. But since we went to Taco John or Taco Bell, we got these little package here. And it says on this one, if you never do, you'll never know. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top for a little flavoring. But usually I don't d use this, and I just do it like this, fold it up, cook it in the microwave for about one minute, and I make two of those for one minute, and then I put it in the microwave, and voila. So if you make this dish, so hold on. So we sprinkle just a little bit on there. So it looks like this. And the more sauce you put on, the more when it cooks, the more expanded it will be. So you don't want that much. You close her up. Oh wait, before you close her up, you need to take some more cheese, not a little much, 
and just sprinkle it on top so that it sticks together and then close it up. So it, so it sticks together. And then the second half, you just do the same thing. And voila. So while I'm making that, we're going to talk. Um, if you make this dish, um, please Twitter me at Real oh yeah Army. I mean, man, hashtag it, white catters. And then I can see your pictures. Or you can go to my white cats Facebook group page, add me there, and show your picture there. I want to see you. If you want, you can do a video response shouting out my name, saying that this idea came from AC, or came from White Cat Frogs, and she made this dish, and now I'm going to show you how I make it, my way, with different ingredients. That would be fun too. And then if you do try it, I want to know if you guys thought it was good, great, sticky, or whatever. And... I love seeing pictures of things you do from my blogs. Or if you just want to chit chat with me and not want to type it, you can do that too. Any comments I get, or any video responses I get, you guys get shout outs for your channel. So if you want a shout out for your channel, you gotta do this. If you help me out, I'll help you out. And please, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I don't understand why I got 64 subscribers and yet only a few people comment. That is just so rude. And the people that do comment get shout outs. Like my friend Maddie, my friend Sonia, my friend Cheryl, or Cher. You guys get shout outs because you always comment on my videos. And I do appreciate that. This one says, it only gets hotter from here. So, um, to cut these after you put them in the microwave for one minute, you, you can use a knife or you can use a pizza cutter. It's totally up to you. And I will show you that after it's done out of the microwave. So stay tuned for that. There it is, out of the oven. I mean microwave, excuse me. I'm going to take a knife instead of a pizza cutter, which you can do this with a pizza cutter too. You can take a fork, hold it into place if you want, and you just cut. You just keep doing that all the way around. You get the pieces you want. You can cut as small of a piece you want. You can cut as big of a piece you want. You can do whatever floats your boat. They're going to be all different shapes and sizes. You'll be cut like a pizza. Okay? Then you can grab one and go mmm bon appetit. <laughs> 